morning. Welcome back to John's Junk. We're going to do another Eat Like a Man. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to cheat sourdough. You don't have to wait weeks, months, years. You don't have to feed or care for it. Oh, hang on a second. You took a nosedive the other week and uh, destroyed the tilty flippy screen. Had me an ear all mangled up and busted one of my lenses. Fortunately, I have a spare and I forgot I had a really good one. But anyway, we're going to do grilled chicken sandwich and I'm going to show you how to cheat sourdough. To start, we're going to use uh, 270 grams buttermilk. Get a scale. It's like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Up your game. 270 grams buttermilk. Um, I was getting it up to temperature and I accidentally overheated it so it separated out a bit. It's fine. Biggest whisk I got fixes that. It's almost still a little too warm. So I am going to go ahead and get my scale. This is the scale I use. It's like Amazon. 15 bucks. Uh, I'm going to dump in two teaspoons active yeast in the little jar you find in the baking section that you keep in your fridge and three teaspoons of uh, plain old white sugar. Whisk it in. Now normally you'd want to well, you'd want to wait until this blooms to make sure that you didn't just kill it but pretty sure mine's alive now I just need my egg. That made a mess. Oh, and there's a shell in there. Ah, it'll turn it off. Now that ought to cool him off. Where'd that shell go? My hand will find that shell. Now we're gonna add 500 grams flour. You don't have to use the good stuff. You can use plain white all-purpose flour and add some of this. Which way are you? Amazon. Like eight bucks. I use the heck out of it. I'm going to use a little bit in here anyway. So roughly you want 500 grams of flour. I'm going to put 490 grams of this stuff. 495 I guess is what I'm going to put in there. Six grams of this stuff kind of get that combined a little bit, the, the dry and the dry. Uh, a tablespoon of salt. This is the pink Himalayan stuff. Somebody told me to try it. It's not all that. I don't see any difference between it and regular salt. Throw that in there. Get out of there. If you can tell the difference, fine. Use it. It's expensive. I just don't think it's worth it. Done with you. Done with you. Wooden spoon does great. We're going to start with the handle. Now that we're done with the handle, we're going to go with the hand. Having trouble mixing it? Do this. Resist the urge to add more liquid. There was plenty wet. This is a no need, but we still need to get it combined. That is uh, it's a little too dry, I don't have any liquid. I'm going to dampen my hand though. That should do it. It's a little too damp, put a little too much. Oh well. That should do it. Now I'm going to put a plate on this and I'm going to stick it in my oven, which is the light on. Cover it with whatever you want plate, baking sheet, whatever. And then we're going to let it set for 45 minutes and then we'll be back. All right. 45 minutes, hour, I got distracted. This is roughly what it should look like. Not really, it's kind of rough, but we're gonna, whew, we're gonna degas him. 
and uh, wad him up into a ball again and throw him back in the oven with the, well, you know, it's warm enough out here now. Uh, sticking to my hands. But we're going to do that, let it go for another 30-ish minutes. Shove that back in the oven. Alright, it's been 45 minutes, then it's been another 40-ish minutes, I don't know. Knocked it down after the first 45. Doubled in size. Smells really fine. Knocked the gas out of it again. Don't need to knead it, just need the gas out of it. Gonna weigh it. 832 grams. 104 grams each if I want eight of them. So, 10, too much. 98, too little. 101, good enough. 103. Now, to form these guys, make your uh, make a little hand here into a cuppy cup and do this. And you're kind of just uh, dragging it on the cutting board or the block or whatever you got and f making tension across the top. Mashing flat, throw them there, rinse, repeat. There's a seam, seam side down. If you think you can eyeball this, eyeball this. There's that eggshell, found him. Told you my hand would find him. Ouch. Don't do that in the house. Your mother would be really mad at me. Mother of. Close enough. Be alright. Be alright. Eh, 104, 106 for the last two. It'll be okay. Cover them however you want. It's gonna set for 45 more minutes. Uh, I might go cut the grass, I don't know. Be back then. See how these guys look. That's good enough. I'm going to go through these, we'll set them into the middle of a 375 degree oven for about that long. Be right back. Alright, these guys are done. They look about like that. Really, really hot. Going to let them cool off. But now... I believe this is what constitutes a break in continuity. I think I'm wearing a different hat. I think I'm wearing different shorts. I hope I'm wearing different underpants. Still not wearing any socks. It is a different shirt though, I know, because I pulled this out of the drawer just a minute ago. And this time it's not because I screwed up. Well, I kind of screwed up. I bought the wrong chicken breasts. Chickens were people, that chicken would have been Twiggy. These guys, on the other hand, Pandora Peaks. Don't Google that from a work computer. Just saying. Anyway, got these three big old girls out here. I'm going to take one of these. I can't believe I remember that name from a tabloid blurb from almost 30 years ago. Anyway, these guys here one time going in a zippy bag or a grocery bag or a trash bag or in between two pieces of cling film or whatever. Then you're gonna take your husband trainer here and we are going to proceed 
to beat on these like you caught them in bed with your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend or something like that. Be generous, be vigorous, be rough. Trying really hard to not make inappropriate jokes here. <laughs> um, and you want the whole thing, the uniform thickness. All right, we've got these guys, girls, whatever, pounded flat. They've whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah. If you don't have a rolling pin, any rolling pin, I, I prefer the solid one. Uh, it's a lot more maneuverable. Uh, you can use the one with the handles and the little plastic bearings in it. That works fine. I like that one too, but this one is my new favorite. You can use a wine bottle if you don't have a rolling pin. But if you got a wine bottle, you can afford a rolling pin. You can also use a whiskey bottle, but there and again, if you can afford a whiskey bottle, bye bye you can afford a uh, rolling pin. So now I'm gonna take salt, and I'm going to salt these guys, gals, girls, whatever. Is that misogynistic? I don't know, don't care. You wanna be careful with the salt. If you're weighing it out, you want a percent, percent and a half-ish. I'm not weighing it out, because I just don't care. Got a neighbor cutting the grass and I've got what sounds like thunder. Anyway, salt these guys. And now they're gonna just hang out together and just chill and relax. Let some of the moisture come out of them for an hour to overnight. Probably not a good idea to have that. So I'm gonna cover these with something. I'm just gonna let them rest. They're still cold, they're fresh from the fridge. You don't wanna try to smack them flat fresh from the freezer or even slightly even beginning of to even thinking about being even slightly frozen because then you'll just blow them to pieces the frog snacks is that something big just went running through my woods there anyway I'm going to cover these and we'll be back in an hour ish well, that farm didn't materialize this stuff. Look at that. Take this whisk I got. There's the frog. Storm is in a baiting, so we're going to squirt that on our chicky. Black Pep, G-Pow, O-Pow, and Flip! Fizzle, fizzle, fizz. I got one of them off of there. I'm going to take my bun, take my bun. toast him. Toast. We'll take some bacon. Get it warm. You guys know the real reason I did this is for the thumbnail, right? Pick roughly right in the middle. That should be perfect. Storm's kind of died down a little bit. That's kind of cool. All right, buns toasted. Bun and sauce. 
good enough. Chicken on bun. Let's do, ooh, look at that piece of lettuce. Let's do lettuce on bun. Then we're gonna do tomato. And of course, season your mater. Black pepper. There's enough salt. Especially since I'm gonna do this. Another half of my bun. There we go. Now you know the real reason I want to do the redo. It's for the thumbnail. Because, of course. Right now it's good and smoky in here. Look at that. Actually, I should probably say, look at that. Look at that. Biting. That is like the perfect chicken sandwich. We'll shove the rest of this in my face hole. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.